Jasmine from Victoria's Family Kitchen, Cooking with Love. And I'm here with my family, Jasmine, Ariana, Rachel, and my husband, Romel. And join our family as we take culinary adventures and bring you to our family kitchen. And remember, always have fun in the kitchen and cook with love. Welcome back to Victoria's Family Kitchen, Cooking with Love. We're here at the 5th District Mini Farm to meet our new friend, Randy, to learn more about organic farming and where our foods come from. We're gonna run, take a look out in the garden, learn how to plant some fall crops, build some hoops, harvest some peppers, and go in the back and make some homemade salsa with our secret ingredient that we'll tell you about later. Then we're gonna make some homemade flour tortillas from scratch and then turn those into tortilla chips. Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! All right, so what we're getting ready to do here today, man, we're getting ready to do this row right here. And uh, we're getting ready for the fall crop. We, we plant just a little bit late with the seed, but it's okay because we're gonna go back over it with some hoops. So maybe y'all will get a little chance today to maybe install like two hoops to help us get going over here at Fifth District. Nice. So what I have here now is some collards. You know what I'm saying? Straight from seeds. You know, collards the thing when it comes to Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know it, you know it. So we're gonna take your trowel and you just gonna move that like this in a line. See now, you see how this dirt is? Mm -hmm. See, it's nice. This is nice dirt. <laughs> the looser the dirt, uh -huh. the better your growing chances are. All the way down that line, okay. just like that. Then you'll take, gently cover it up, like so, and there you go. Keep the keep the dirt loose as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ray. You wanna help me? Y'all just did this before. Huh? <laughs> it's in our blood. I told you about those farm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Gentle. That's right. Oh. Feel the worm, man. Y'all did a good job. All right. So, so what we have here is just like regular quarter-inch PVC. Um, I have some aluminum rails that are used. Some people can use it for steaking tomatoes and stuff like that. That is right. You know what I'm saying? We got families out here. So what I want to happen is somebody's gonna grab it in, and we keep it just like this. Grab it in. Grab it in. And we're gonna push down into the soil. Okay. Now. We're gonna do one, two, three. Push as hard as you can. Push, push. <laughs> you strong too. <laughs> oh man, y'all strong, man. We got it in there. <laughs> like semen or something. <laughs> hey, grab that little aluminum rail right there. Yeah. And then you just connect it into the to the quarter inch band. All right. When y'all want to assist on this side. Here, like so, mm -hmm. and then we'll go over with our plastic. But the whole row will consist of that. Nice. Okay, cool. All right, so y'all just got the <laughs> y'all just got the technical part of that. Nice. So y'all can do it in the backyard. I love. It. Tomatoes take a lot of heat, so when it gets into the fall, that's the change of the season. So by being the change of the season, it'll be the end of the fruit fruiting season for tomatoes and okra. Because okra is usually, okra comes from Africa. So it's an Africa plant, African plant, so it needs a lot of heat. So the summertime is when okra really uh, does its best and fruits a lot. But as it change, of the change of the season, it, it's the end of the fruit, fruit season for the okra as well. So that's what I mean by the change of season, by, by its outer season, it's time for it to finish up. Um, is there a certain way that we need to pick them? Can we just snatch them or like, what's the proper way? I mean, it's not like we out here with scissors or anything like that, so right. <laughs> you're pretty good. But you see how easy it came off? Yeah. It just came off that easy, so they're ready to be harvested. So if we didn't harvest these, what would happen, it would just fall right back into the soil but and actually decay and put more nutrients in the soil as well. So it's, we're, we're not losing it. It's way too hot. You do not want to go for water. You want to go for like a, um, like a, a, a dairy-based product. Um, for example, like ice cream, um, and if you don't do dairy, you want to kind of do like an almond milk or a plant-based dairy product, if, if I can say that. You guys could just start picking away at the jalapenos. Um, you have a whole bush of them here. You have a bush of them here. That's enough. That's enough, Jazzy. We got enough. Don't touch your face. Right, that is good. And these are the ones where they also dry them out and sell them in the store, yeah, right? Sure do. All right, now we have some of our jalapenos. We got some ghost peppers. 
And like I said, you can smell them and tell how spicy they are. And then we have some of our Thai peppers. Let's see if I can grab one real quick. It's so little. They're oh, little, but they pack a lot of heat. They pack a lot of heat. And then I think you said you got some bell peppers. Let's just take a look at the bell peppers. Let's go harvest just a few bell peppers. Get ready to make our salsa from what we have here. And then our flour tortillas. Do you want to pick a little bit? Yeah. All right, all right. Here at Fifth District Minute Farm, I want to welcome y'all, man. Um, what we're doing here, man, we're focusing on uh, green spaces and you know pushing out fresh foods to communities that really don't have a chance to experience the fresh food experience You know no pesticides no herbicides no fertilizers none of that type of stuff We need that because um, those are the things um, that people are putting in the food today Along with other things to preserve it that's causing a lot of cancer Diabetes heart disease and stuff of that nature, you know, it's not really you know the gun violence It's more of what we eat because it's taking us out every day and it's, it's a longevity thing So we have to learn how to eat healthy. So that's what really got me into the mix, man, with dealing with um, making farms in, in the urban setting. Because I feel like you don't have to go all the way out to the county or something like that just to experience a farm or to pick fresh vegetables. You know what I'm saying? Everybody deserves to get that. Um, and I just felt like, you know, making these farms, man, it was my way to attack that, that health that health system situation, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people that sit on the sidelines talking about what, what could happen, but don't want to really put their foot in the mud and get that action, you know what I'm saying? Um, we did, we got schools, we got the Southside Growers Academy. Um, we come, I'm come working on an organization called the Growers, and those are gonna, that's gonna be an uh, organization that we're gonna be focusing on putting gardens everywhere, any home, any business, anywhere that's, that's, that's possible, anybody that wants it, we're gonna, we're gonna put it there and educate as well. Um, I got into this, I got into this thing like two years ago, strongly with the brother Duran Chavis. I'm gonna give him a good pick up. You know what I'm saying, man? He's doing some great work out here, man. My partner in crime, our evolution, rise up, and a few other cats. Um, so we all focusing on penetrating and knocking out this food issue that we have in the city of Richmond, and hopefully it can spread well worldwide. One day I was just standing, looking at the back. It was like, man, I'm gonna turn this into something, man. I'm gonna turn this into a garden. We're gonna make this fifth district mini farm. I had it, it was all just a dream, man, at one state. So when I say this, my message is don't ever give up on your dreams. The only thing you need to push your dreams is the action. The action, the willpower, and the discipline to make it happen. Those days that you don't feel like getting out and doing it, those are the days that you're really supposed to be out, be getting out and doing it. And that's with anything, anything in this world. You can be successful. Don't let none stop you. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do. Brother Ron Begat, man, all the Begats, man, dealing with that social, social justice, man, hitting them hard with it. Man, he's keeping it going with the Drugs No Guns Foundation. And he got I Am the Work, man. Shamu, man, give it up to Shamu. Attacking this gun violence issue and trying to make a change. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. There is something to be said about the man that chooses the road less traveled. Those roads represent the map of my life and are the fabric of MTK Premier Auto Boutique. With passion comes a mindset. Defy odds, break down barriers, run through obstacles. Automobiles are my passion and servicing you is my mission. Economy, sport, luxury, exotic or classic, regardless of your choice, when it comes to purchasing an automobile, all roads lead to MTK. Quality, convenience, excellence. I am Mike Wiggins, and I am your personal auto consultant. Disability serves families who have children with special needs. We provide playgroups, workshops, online support groups, the ABC Anti-Bully Club, Christmas Assistance Program, and more. Hi, I'm Faith, the founder of the Anti-Bullying Club. We are creating more awareness about bullying and building self-esteem to help prevent suicide and other mental health issues caused by bullying. And if you see someone down, become their friend and stop the bullying trend.
We're gonna talk about bear claws in the cave. Ariana, I need you to talk loudly and let us know what does it mean, bear claws in the cave? That you don't cut yourself. That you don't cut yourself, all right? So Ariana is using a little knife, cause she, um, regular knife, because she's used to cutting, and she knows that she's gonna keep her bear claws in the cave, which means keeps her fingers in the cave away from the knife. So Ariana, watch me, and I'm gonna use a chef knife. We forgot our cutting boards, but we have some sturdy paper plates. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut down in the middle, bear claws in the cave. So Ariana, bear claws in the cave, keep your fingers folded and cut down in the middle. Good job. You wanna wash your finger? There you go. And then you can just pull it apart. And then we're gonna cut each one in a half. So we halved it and now we're gonna cut it in quarters. There we go, good job. All right, so while I cut the rest of them up in quarters, we have a little trick. For our salsa, we just wanna use the outsides. We don't wanna use the insides. And I want to make sure that you remember this other tip. And when you scoop out the insides like this, insides in, and I'm gonna put that in between me and Ariana. So Ariana, you did good cutting. Now I'm gonna give you the spoon. And you're gonna scoop out all the insides and put them in there while I finish cutting up, okay? And I'm gonna get some more. And I love these tomatoes on the vine. They look good too. And my thing is, you want to get a nice firm tomato for this type of salsa that I'm using. You want a nice firm tomato. You're on your second one. Good job. And like I said, make sure you keep these and make a red sauce out of them. I'm just going to pile them up close to Ariana. A nice spoon. You can put these right here on my plate. A nice sturdy spoon is what you want to use to scoop out the insides. Another key thing about cutting your tomatoes is you want to make sure you have a nice sharp knife. Um, you want to make sure that you keep your knife well sharpened because the more pressure you put on it, a more a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife. But when it also comes to cutting tomatoes, you want to make sure you have a nice sharp knife so you can slice easily through it, okay? For this particular salsa, I don't want the insides, I just want the outsides. Got our last tomato here. And you can really use any variety of tomatoes just to make sure it's the kind that tastes good to you. You can even use the little cherry tomatoes and you would just slice those in half. You wouldn't quarter those because of their size. We're quartering these because of the size. You could also use Hanover tomatoes. Am I a good partner? Yes. You're a good partner too. You're a great partner. I'm a great partner. Are you trying to get extra food? No. No, okay. <laughs> We're just making sure. <laughs> I'm a great partner. Thank you. You're a good partner. Also, too. I want some more food. You want some more food? Okay. <laughs> and then if you have the stem left up there, you, the spoon can scoop that out or you can also get it out. But just make sure that you be careful if you're not used to working with the knife. You need to take time with working with the knife. You don't have to move fast. Just go the pace that works best for you. Okay? This one was really easy. That one was really easy. Cool. Good job. I just She's almost done. That's the last one. Yay! Good job. Good job. High five. Good job. All right, so we're gonna get our knives back out. We're gonna set that to the side. Here's your knife. And we're gonna move the spoon. So, we're going to do a few at a time, okay? We're gonna cut it together. Let me separate my plates. All right, this is what we got here. We are going to grab a tomato. And maybe we'll move this out the way and put this right here. Grab a tomato. Bear claws in the cave means don't cut yourself, right, Ariana? Yeah. So what you want to do is, you just want to slice them, turn it to the side. Yep, watch your fingers, watch your fingers, and watch your fingers and slice. We're going to slice these very slowly. You don't want to push down very hard. You just want to slowly do it, okay? Yeah. And like I said, if your knife is not that sharp, you will need to add a little bit of pressure to it, but you want to be careful because the more pressure you add to a knife, the more dangerous that it can become, okay? We just want to slice these up. Are we going to dice them? We are going to dice them. We're going to get some nice slices right here. So I got mine sliced up just like this. And if you see you have a little one that you're training to use a knife with, and it gets a little too close for comfort, just let them put the slice aside. If it's thick, if it's bigger, don't worry about it. They're learning and they're having fun in the kitchen. They're not gonna always be as precise. Um, mines aren't always as precise, and I've been cooking for a lot of years. But it is what it is, and it's gonna taste good. We're having fun, and we're learning in the kitchen with our family. That's the most important thing, okay? Yeah, it might be slippery. I'm just being very careful. You can, if when you feel comfortable with it, look at which tomato is larger. Get about two of them. Stack them on top, put the larger one at the bottom. And since I don't have my cutting board with me, upper part of the outer rim of the plate in the way and I want to make sure that I'm doing safe cutting. A cutting board is much more better because you can do it better. You can cut better. 
me. So, if you are not used to peppers, hot peppers, there's so many of them. There's jalapeno, there's serrano, there's poblano, there's um. At poblano peppers are so good there's so many there's a little Thai chili peppers that we picked today you want to be very careful now I'm used to dealing with jalapenos to me these aren't very hot because I'm used to dealing with them but if you are not used to dealing with peppers you want to put on gloves okay you want to put on plastic gloves because the 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 residue and what's left from the peppers is going to stay on your fingernails and underneath your fingernails and then if you touch your face or your eyes it's going to be it's gonna be all over from there on, okay? And then you're gonna be crying. You're gonna be crying. You're gonna be crying like a baby. So I'm used to these, so I'm going to just cut them without anything on my hands. Now, while Ariana's cutting up those tomatoes, this is how we cut up um or I, how I cut up my jalapenos. First, I'm gonna take the stem of it. I'm gonna cut that top part off just like that. Set this little, I call it a little top head aside. And then the heat of the pepper, actually, you can smell it. You can smell the pepper to see how hot it is. Food is supposed to bring people together. It's supposed to create a close connection, divide the barrier, bring families together. Here with Heart and Soul, we can bridge that gap. We can come in, we can cook dinner, set the table up, and leave more time for you to sit down with the ones that you love, enjoy an intimate dinner for two, even a cooking lesson or an event or a private party. This is heart and soul. Food is our heart, our passion, our soul. To shuffle down to Cooper. Live, love, laugh, be merry. Hello, Richmond retailers. Have you heard about Hancock Village? It's the most significant retail development in Chesterfield County. But this thriving retail center is almost sold out. The last two spaces offer new construction, excellent visibility, and three signalized entrances. Walk among the giants like Walmart, Dick's, Hobby Lobby, and Burlington. To see if these spaces are still available, call Ellen Long at Taylor Long Properties. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're Locks and Flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks Locks and Flats for all your help. You want to make sure you're pointing it away from, you want to scoop down the sides towards you. And you can scoop it out just like that. Always have a good scoop, but what I'm going to do is just do them individually to let you see what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some really thin slices here. Ooh, look at these tomatoes. Good job. Some really thin slices here. These strips look good. You want to do some thin slices like these. We want to get them thin just like that and then we're going to dice them up so we're slicing and we're dicing everything that we're doing here slicing and dicing slicing and dicing and you cannot eat them no you do not want to eat them and then once i have all of these sliced up just like this like a julian what they call like a julian cut in culinary school i am going to dice them okay so i'm just going to chop them and dice them keeping my bear claws in the cave bear claws They're in really the cave fat. Yeah, and that's only because I'm used to it. But I also need to wash it and be careful because I'm not on a cutting board. And then we're going to take those little extra dices right there and just put them in. There you go. I'm going to be careful because Ariana's right there. Now we're going to do two jalapenos. So this is my, this is just one jalapeno that we just chopped up here. There we go. And then I'm going to take my julienne slices and I'm just going to dice them. Bear claws in the cave, keeping my fingers away from the danger of the blade. And then I can rock with it. I can just rock with it, which is a little hard with the plate. I should have brought my cutting board. I can rock with it back and forth. All right, and I'm gonna put this down because I don't know when Ariana's gonna lift her hand up to the bowl to put in her tomatoes, so I don't wanna bring the knife toward that. And you can already start to see the beautiful color contrast that we have going on here. And it's good to have like a rainbow effect um, for your foods that you're cooking. Like they teach the kids in school. You want to make sure you have a variety of different colors. It's also good because you know you're visual eaters. And it's also good because you're getting in a lot of vitamins from the different foods. See that? Now this right here, 
you can tell that was gonna be a hot jalapeno. Ooh. That's, that was gonna be a very hot jalapeno. See how you can take your spoon and go underneath? Out of your... And then flick it down. No, make sure you don't get juice in your eyes. That's right, oh, that will definitely burn. And I can do this under running water at home and pull that rib right out right there. And then, since these are about the same size, I'll just put them on top of each other. And all right, you stay away from the knife. And then, you hear that, Chris? Yes, so I took my jewel in, and then I'm gonna dice, 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 dice. Dice it up, dice it up, dice it up. Now, if you are having some problem with allergy season, and you are very congested, and your nose just won't open up, chop up everything over here. Chop up some jalapenos, and chop up some fresh onions. You'll be good to go. You will be good to go. There you go. All right, so Ariana is still chopping up some tomatoes. Um, what is this? Red onion. A red onion, but what color Even is it? Even though it's purple. Even though it's purple, it's a red onion. So cut all the way through. Straight down, straight down. And Ariana's just doing a regular little chopping technique. And I'm just going straight down. And you see, I already have some dices coming out. And we're just gonna throw those in there. Right. You still have jalapenos that you can use up there. Let me give you this little bell pepper to chop up Ariana. You still have jalapeno tops that you can use. So what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna cut around. You see this little top part that I folded up? We're gonna cut around that. You see that? You don't wanna waste anything. Get that wow, off. that was a nice And then you can put that cut. in the compost bin. And then you can just rock with it and chop it. Watch your fingers, bear claws in the cave. There you go. It's juicy. It is juicy. Now I want you to use your fingers and take the ribs out and the seeds and put that on the plate because the ribs and the seeds from the onions are very, I mean from the bell peppers are bitter. When you're at home and you have your limes, you wanna run them under warm water and then you wanna roll them out. Roll it out and then we're gonna slice it in the middle. Now I'm gonna take this and we're gonna take a spoon, unless you have a lime mm, presser. It's not good. Yeah, and you're just gonna squeeze out all those well, juices. Well, you could do a lemon thing and then you could yeah, just squeeze lime, it. You can, a lemon squeezer or a lime squeezer, or just a nice good spoon. We've been using this spoon throughout this recipe with our tomatoes. It smells good. I wish I could eat it. Yeah, she likes limes, but don't you eat that one. Good job. Good job. I might have to squeeze it a little bit. You got it. I'm gonna help you. Let's work those muscles together. You wanna take it, your spoon, put it in the middle, and you're gonna dig, 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 and squeeze. Whoop, whoop. Since we don't have our little cutting boards, and cilantro is what I call a, a clingy herb. Once you cut it, it just sticks to you, and then it, you know, just gets it so hard to take off of you. And we're just gonna cut up the cilantro, and we're gonna let Ariana cut some up as well. Watch my fingers, because I don't wanna break, rip my fingers. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. I hate breaking my fingers. No, nobody wants to cut their finger. Yeah. Watch your fingers. Because then you won't have any fingers and you love those little fingers. <laughs> yes, you do. We are going to add some salt. Ariana, you want to grab the salt? You can use kosher salt, you can use pink Himalayan salt, you can use gray truffle salt, black truffle salt. You can use let's a little bit of table salt. Um, but we're going to use a little salt. bit of table salt today. And you want to do, let's do um, a few pinches. How about three? You can do three. Now, don't y'all tell nobody what my secret ingredient is. It is. What is it? Let's say it together. Curry, curry powder. powder. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of curry powder on top. There we go. And then, Ariana, you're going to stir this together. Why don't you stir that up? And we're going to mix all of the ingredients you have together. To use a spatula. Good job. It smells like lime a little it bit. It does. And I love and using lime. It can smell the onions. Yes, you can. And like I said, don't worry about it if the chops aren't perfect. Don't worry about it. It's going to taste good. If you don't have limes, you can use lemon juice. You just want some type of acidity. You can use even use apple cider vinegar. You just want a good acid to go into that. Put those together into our little bowl. Smells good. All right. And there you have it. Victoria's Family Kitchen Cooking with Love Secret Salsa Recipe made with fresh veggies from the 5th District Mini Farm. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to give everybody a piece of dough. Pass that to Jazzy. Me too. And Yes, that's to Rachel. You You're going to hold it. It does need a little bit more flour. Push it, it and fold it, and that is good. This is an easy, quick dough, so Push you don't need to do that much to it, okay? And then once you got that, Mine roll it into sticky. a ball. Mine is sticky. That's fine. This is what you want to do. Make a ball, and, and then you want to flatten it. 
And now we're going to take some of our canola oil and we're just going to put some on the hot griddle. And we're going to take this and we're just going to put it up there. And these are going to cook up really nice. Really nice. You want to be very careful. So I'm going to turn this off. You can smell it. It smells so good. It's just toasty. You see how the color's starting to come? Like how this has a certain color on it. And so we're going to get our salt. Just going to sprinkle. And we're going to sprinkle salt all around. Then we're going to get some oil. And we're going to pour some oil around. Just enough to coat some of them. Then we're going to use our best and favorite tools in the kitchen is our hands. And we're gently going to mix them up. Gently mix them up together. You don't really want them truly stacking on top of each other. And everybody has their favorite um, crisp desiredness that they want it to be. Some want it extra crispy, some want them in the middle. It just depends on how you like them. We're going to put these in the oven for a few minutes, then we're going to take them back out. Then we're going to plate everything up together with our tortillas on the side, and then our tortilla chips and our salsa. Right, thanks for joining us for this episode of Victoria's Family Kitchen Cooking with Love here at the 5th District Mini Farm. We want to tell everybody say thank you to Mr. Randy for having us. Thank you, thank you Mr. Randy. Uh, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure having you. And that's a wrap. Remember to always have fun in the kitchen and cook with love. Hundreds of customers have relied on us to get their vehicles moving again. We're reliable and dependable. We're locks and flats. Thank you for choosing us. Thanks, Locks and Flats, for all your help. 